Hi guys, thanks for joining me already in progress. Um, I'm not liking this pour, so this is going to be a pour over the pour before. And I'm going to use the same base coat though, which is this kind of weird, funky, purple-gray color. And it's uh, paint from previous pours that have been sitting in a cup. And I really have to do something with it before I have to throw it out. So here's us doing something with it. Um, I picked weird colors today. Weird color base, weird colors to pour in, and you know what? We're just going to go for it. So because I'm not super fond of the base color, we're going to put a fair amount of color on it and maybe use it for exactly that, just a base. So that is DecoArt White Satin Enamel mixed with Amsterdam acrylic and pouring medium. This is Modern Masters Black Pearl mixed with a little bit of Amsterdam Oxide. I find that the Modern Masters kind of breaks up and I don't like it, so I mixed it a little bit. So here's the rest of these bizarre colors. Um, this is a kind of a, I don't know what it is. I think it started as raw sienna when I was cleaning up paint pots the other night. And I believe that I added either interference violet or interference red. And I haven't used it yet, but I can see there's an interference color. So we'll have to wait until we sort of spread it out and then we'll see what color it is. This is my Golden Oxide by Amsterdam. Yesterday was a busy day. It was supposed to be a modification madness Monday. It didn't happen, as you all very well know. I was crazy busy guys yesterday. I had new countertops put in my kitchens, both upstairs and down. And so the we waited and waited and waited for the counter guy to came and come and he came and he was this absolutely delightful man. He was just the nicest man ever. And he and I just started gabbing in the kitchen and we connected on like so many different levels that he'd been here like an hour and hadn't even began to work. And it was pretty funny because I don't know what that was, guys. Sorry, that was a mystery green. And we're going to swipe and I'm just going to keep on chattering. He said that he would be probably an hour to an hour and a half in my kitchen. So my daughter wanted to know if she, how much time she had. So she went down to do her stuff and she came back about an hour later. And this fellow and I were still standing talking in the kitchen. He hadn't even started work. And she kind of looked at me like, what are you guys doing? And yeah, we gabbed about everything. We talked about marriage and relationships and kids and school and education and politics. And oh, it was like just this like, Great, huge gab session. He was a, just an absolute delight. So he, uh, my granddaughter stared at him the whole time, kind of mean mugged him. Oh, I blew that, didn't I? Kind of mean mugged him. She didn't, uh, she didn't smile. She's like this total poker face, poker face. Just wouldn't engage with the guy. Yeah, it was quite funny. It was a different reaction. He was trying so hard to interact with the baby and she just was like having no part of it. Not having anything to do with it. All right, let's uh let's wipe some whites. At least I'm using these spoons. These are so cool. These are the coolest little spoons. They work great for me for swiping and all my challenges with palette knives. These are great. I'm hoping I have lots of paint on here, lots of colored paint, because I really would like to get rid of a lot of this purple. So we need to have lots to Lots to tilt off. All right, I'm just going to go back in here. Okay, let's see if we can do something. Let's see if we can do anything. 
So I'm super happy with my cabinets. My I let my daughter pick her own colors. So she chose kind of a like a gray slate almost. And I, who think I want to change my kitchen colors to grays eventually, chose a very neutral pattern. Well, neutral colors, um, all in kind of beiges and just oatmeals and yeah, just sort of really super soft neutral colors. So I figure I can change it to gray or I can keep on with my sort of warm cream colors and either one will be interchangeable. So I'm happy with that. Okay, let's uh let's just keep going here guys. Keep stretching. Not super happy with that blob, so let's get rid of that right now. Let's go back in with black. Oh, that was dumb. All right, now oh, let's see if we can fix this screw up. Ha! Huh. Okay, now let's see what's gonna happen. Let's just load some color on the palette knife and go back in and do this. Well, oh, I pushed way too hard there, you guys. I might have to give that a second and see if that's going to fill itself back in here. That was dumb. All right, well, let's just keep moving paint around and we'll fill this hole in. Okay, we're gonna take this and run it right down. Oh, well, maybe we're not. So I'm not totally liking, I like this end. I don't like this end, but I don't really know how to fix it. But I think I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a flyer at it guys and I'm gonna swipe this out somehow in black. Yes I am, we're gonna do it. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna hope for the best and we're gonna put maybe some of this caramel color on my swiping tool and I think I'm going to go in right here we'll give that a second and then let's keep stretching Good way to get rid of this purpley base paint. It doesn't look so bad mixed with all these colors. So that's okay. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this. All right, let's keep going, my friends. Let's keep going. Right now, all we're doing is just gonna move some paint around. We're kinda, I'm okay with the composition. It's better now that I broke that top piece up. still have a lot of paint on here so we're just going to do a bunch of wiggling and twisting and see if we can get things a little bit better it's 
This is way more coverage than I normally do. Okay, let's just put it down and have a look at it for a second and see what can we do or can we make a few changes. We go to a few little bubbles. Maybe get rid of some of this white here, I think that would be a good idea but I don't really know what to do with it. Hmm. Maybe we should just leave things alone. I don't like the white. Okay, that's uh, my indecisiveness. I'm going to swipe white, as stupid as that sounds, after complaining that I don't like the white, I'm going to swipe it with white. And I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow oxide and a little bit of my kind of mystery interference color. And let's just, let's just try to change that a tiny bit. Well, let's put some cells in. I think that will be better. We'll give it a second and then we'll just do a little bit more tipping. So I've had on my wall, I have to tell you guys, I've had on my wall out in my little mud porch for about two years now, an original tile that I did. And it was probably one of the first pours that I really thought, oh yeah, I got this. And I looked at it yesterday and I thought, oh my God, it's ugly. It's ugly. But I thought, what a cool tile because I realized it was four by 24. So I soaked all the paint off of it because I've come a long way in the last couple of years and I definitely like what I'm doing much better than where I started. So I'm going to pour on the 4 by 24 ceramic tile. So I'm probably do that maybe tonight. This is kind of our starter piece. We're just going to let a little more paint go here. And then, yeah, let's do it. I kind of want to stretch it out a little more, but I don't want to completely lose my cell structure because it's pretty neat. I'll just do it slowly. All right, my friends, I think this is as far as we're going to go with this piece, because if I keep bending and stretching, I am going to lose the cell structure. Not that it has to be round all the time, because they absolutely do not have to be. But I kind of like it where it is. So I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to spin this right around so that when I bring you guys down, you can see it from the same angle you were looking at on the camera. All right, let's bring you over. Oh heavens, here we go with the spinning. So yeah, look at that, you guys. There's the whole piece. Um, it's definitely a lot more intricate than I normally do, but I think we did a pretty fair job of getting rid of this kind of purpley gray color, and it really doesn't look too bad mixed with these colors. So let's sneak down for a closer look. Lots and lots of going on. Lots and lots and lots. Yeah. So now that I can see my interference color that I mixed that raw sienna with was red. 
so it's kind of got a little bit of a shimmery kind of a red overtone to it but yeah yeah I'm, I'm super happy with this my friends super super happy lovely chunky lacing all the way through there's some really really cool chunky lacing so i'm gonna love you and leave you here i have a few little just air bubbles to go back and touch up and then i will post a still on facebook and i'm going to get set up and prepped out i think to try this great big four by 24. there it is all right my friends thank you very much for joining me tonight you guys are all awesome um, as always, I want to thank everybody for your kindness and your support and your nice words. You guys are wonderful. You are like the most amazing cheering section anyone could ask for. All right, my friends. Bye for now.